This is part 75 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement an accordion in an ASP.NET Web Forms application using ASP.NET Repeater Control and jQuery. This is continuation to part 74, so please watch part 74 before proceeding. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session and the accordion that we have implemented is here. We have implemented this accordion by dynamically constructing these h3 and div element pairs using jQuery. If we use a repeater control, then we can offload this responsibility of constructing these h3 and div element pairs to that control. So the code looks much cleaner. So let's see how to implement an accordion using ASP.NET repeater control and jQuery. In our previous video session, we have used this country service to retrieve the country name and description from the database table. So for the purpose of this demo, we'll be using the same web service. So the first thing to do here is to add a reference to this web service. And to do that, I'm going to right click on references and select add service reference. And I'm going to click this discover button. So this should discover our country service. And within this namespace text box, I'm going to provide the namespace as services. Let's click OK. So this should add a reference to our country service. Now I'm going to add another web form to our project. So add new item. And we want to add a web form. So within the form here, we have caught a div element. I'm going to give an ID to this div. Let's call it accordion. And let's also set the width of this div to 600 pixels. All right. And I'm going to drag and drop a repeater control inside this div element. So let's go to the toolbox and we should find the repeater control under data tab. So here we have the repeater control. So that's our repeater control. And within the code behind file, I'm going to call this country service, retrieve the data and bind it to the repeater control. So the namespace that we have given for the service reference is services. So let's type services dot and we should find country service soap client. So that's the class that we have to use to call the web service. Let's call it client equals new country service soap client and let's call the get countries function and what is this function going to return it's going to return an array of country objects and we want to set that as the data source for our repeater control so repeater one dot data source equals whatever we get back from the web service and let's call the data bind method all right so we are going to get an array of country objects and if you look at this country object we've got you know id name uh, and country description properties. So now, within the code behind file of our webform 2spx uh, we are actually calling the web service, binding the data to the repeater control. Now all that is left is within the repeater, specify the structure that you want. And to do that, I'm going to make use of the item template. And what do we want? We want first you know, a header element. So I'm going to use H3. You can use H2, H1, you know, any header element basically. So within H3, what do we want? We want to display the country name in the header, right? So we can use angle brackets, percentage, hash, and then use the eval method. And what is the property to which we want to bind the data? We want to retrieve data from name property and display that within the h3 element and then we also want a div element so i'm going to include a div element and we want to retrieve the country description and bind it to this div element so i'm going to use the same eval method the property name is country description so let's copy that from here and paste it right there so this is going to build us. So this piece of code will be executed for every row that is returned by the web service. So it's going to build pairs of H3 and div elements for us automatically. Okay. And this repeater is present inside another div element that has got this ID accordion. So all that is left now is to reference the required script files and then call the accordion function on 
this development okay so we need jquery itself so let's drag and drop jquery we need jquery ui you know css and javascript and we need another script element and let's include the ready function so document dot ready and let's find the div element by ID so we want to find this container div which has got the ID of accordion so let's use the jQuery ID selector and on that let's call the accordion function alright so let's save those changes let's go ahead and run this so notice uh, we made a request to webform 2.aspx and here we have the accordion which is very similar to what we have on this webform 1.aspx now here to implement the accordion we're using the repeater control you can also do exactly the same thing by using the list view control again list view control you can find that you know under data tab so let's see how to do the same thing using list view so I'm actually going to include a couple of break elements here and let's copy this entire HTML code and paste it right here okay so instead of this repeater I'm going to simply use list view and we already have a development with ID accordion I'm actually going to change that this ID to accordion 2 okay and the ID of this list view let's actually change it to maybe something like list view 1 because that's not a repeater it's a list view control and within the code behind file we need to bind the data to the list view control as well so list view 1 dot data source equals client dot get countries and just like this we want to call data bind on list v1 and then within our jquery code we need to call accordion function on this container div so let's make a copy of this and instead of accordion we're going to use accordion 2 okay so let's go ahead and run this one more time so now we should have two accordions on the page so the first accordion here is using the repeater control and the second accordion here is using the list view control thank you for listening and have a great day